Hello YouTube, this is Tutorials, and I'm back with another tutorial on how to customize Windows 7 uh, themes and as you can see here I got a pretty nice theme uh, it's colorful and clean and yeah it's just it's pretty cool uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to um, how to download one of these um, so first of all before you download any themes or install them um, you have to get a program called Universal Theme Patcher and by the way I forgot to say this is Windows 7 but you can probably guess by the background here um, so yeah if you go to the link in the description of this video or type in Google uh, Universal Theme Patcher 1.5 either one but it's easier to go to this link which is going to be in the description um, so you'll be brought to this page and on this page don't be fooled by all of the download buttons uh, the only legit download button is this one which says which is at the bottom of the page and says click here for direct download or download page and you click on that and uh, hit save as and desktop and save okay and once it's done uh, you'll get this zip file and you can double click on it to open the zip file and then go to universal theme patcher and the folder and in there you'll find either theme patcher 80, uh, 86 or 64 I'm not sure what the 86 is for uh, but I'll use the 64 I'm more comfortable with that and yeah you can just drag it out of the folder like so onto the desktop and you no longer need this file uh, so you can now delete it once you have this on the desktop okay and now you can run it uh, so double click on it yes and select your language and click OK and I already have um, I already have it patched but you guys probably don't so it's gonna say need it to patch three files and again need to patch three files and then yeah uh, just hit yes uh, okay and just hit uh, patch right here at the top and patch over here and again patch so click patch three times in all of these uh, buttons well don't click the button three times but click the three buttons okay and after that it's gonna ask you if it says patched yes status uh, if it says yes then uh, you'll probably have to restart the computer uh, so at this point you can uh, add your video to favorites or this video and uh, yeah and come back and um, get back to this video after you restarted your computer okay so once you have restarted your computer um, you can go ahead to the second link of this uh, tutorial uh, or in the description of this video and um, here it will bring you to this page where there's a, there's a whole bunch of cool themes uh, all of them are pretty nice but uh, the most polished theme and the one that I really like is this one the one that, that I'm actually using right now and you can just download it uh, below it it says download static which is the name of the theme uh, yeah so just click on uh, download static or wherever other theme you like and yeah just click on it it's gonna bring you to uh, DeviantArt and here in DeviantArt you always wanna check if there are no comments disabled if you can see comments and people saying good feedback about this download and then you go we wanna go up and to the right and it says download file right here so click on that and then click on save as and select desktop once again and hit save okay and just wait for it to download I'm gonna pause while it's download alright so one, now that it's done downloading uh, you can open up this zip file that you downloaded and go into static or whatever folder you open up and um, find the actual theme it's e either gonna say uh, theme or visual style or something like that and you can open that up and if you see these uh, Windows 
theme file um, yeah they're basically Windows theme files uh, that means you're in the right place uh, okay so now you can go to the start menu and you can go to um, computer okay computer and uh, go to local disk C or whatever is your primary disk and then once you're in here you see uh, the folder Windows open that up and um, go down to resources okay resources and open resources up and then it's gonna say themes and open that up okay and now you can just drag these just select all of them and drag them down into the uh, themes folder okay and hit yes do do this for all uh, actually no uh, it's, it says this for me because I already have it in there but if you don't it's not gonna say that but just hit yes doesn't matter what it say it says hit yes and I will hit cancel because I already have it in here and I don't want to replace it or mess anything up okay so once it has successfully put it all in there once you hit yes for everything that it says there and it's in the folder you can right click on your desktop and click on pers personalize okay and here if you scroll down it should show the installed themes that you have and uh, here's one of my installed themes which is static um, and all you have to do is click on it so select your theme click on it and it changes your theme now once it changes your theme it's gonna give you some kind of a background you might not like which I don't like this background so uh, go to desktop background right here click on that okay and just um, select Windows desktop backgrounds and you know just go back to your original Windows 7 background or you can just download a picture from the internet and right click on it and click on um, set image as background so yeah, that's up to you which background you want to use uh, but yeah that's oh actually one more thing uh, if you go to personalize again and go to window uh, color and then uh, click on advanced appearance settings then go to item and select um, active window border okay and um, you can change the size of this uh, you can change the size of this border and you can in some cases you can also change the font which I can't in this uh, in this specific theme but in some other themes you can and you can change the color and all that stuff but if you increase the size of the um, active window border let's see let's try three it didn't really change much but yeah my point was that um, I was trying to change the font but it didn't actually work because uh, it's not letting me change the font in this specific theme but in some other themes you can and yeah I just showed you guys how to do that okay uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe please like the video and comment uh, tell me what you guys think about this uh, should I continue with the series or not um, and yeah thank you guys for all your support and for all the subscribers and all the people that watch my videos and see you guys later